I'm hoping that people would use my lens as sort of a starting point of seeing how intuitive it can be to open up a 3D model and be able to walk around it and walk up to it, zoom in on it, tilt it, move it in a plane of space, and use that as inspiration to bring their own data sets to AR and use that to better communicate their findings. Hi, I'm Rachel Binks. Um, I live in Los Angeles, California. I am a developer, designer, data visualization enthusiast, and I love scuba diving. And the title of my project is Bathymetry Maps. The lens experience is pulling in bathymetry data of different island chains. And I've selected three island chains that sort of give a sense of you know, what this tool could be used for as sort of a general purpose tool. So when people load one of the maps, they'll see a 3D map in the space. They can walk around it. They can actually be moving the map to sort of tilt it on a plane so that you can see the depth exaggeration between these islands and the ocean floor. Lens Studio has a lot of functionality built into it and a lot of different examples, but also tutorials. And I, I really think that the tutorial and API documentation is a very good ecosystem for new people coming into working with Lens Studio. And I was certainly using it a lot of just, you know, finding out what is possible within this space. I'm interested in the transition between AR as a shiny fun toy to a useful tool. And that's why I took specifically a scientific visualization approach to this, because I do think that having more access to the 3D world and that spatial awareness of data could greatly help scientific communication. And so I'm hoping that AR continues to be a part of that conversation.